time for another paint party. Uh, this particular pour is going to be part of a, a collaboration with a bunch of other pour artists who are part of a Facebook group called a Little Pouring Family, as you saw from the picture that is posted uh, as the thumbnail. And we do monthly challenges, and the challenge for May is to do a ring pour. And we were told to do uh, the ring pour on a square canvas. So um, I have a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas selected for this, and we were told that we must use aqua, dark purple, orange, copper, and black or white. So that's the colors I'm going to be using. I will provide the exact um, information on them as far as the, the brands and such uh, in the description. I will also be providing the links to the other people participating in this collaboration. The, they either have YouTube channels or Facebook uh, pages, and those links will be provided in the description. Uh, go there and check out their results for this challenge. Show them some love. Um, I will be playing some music during the pour portion of this video, but I will come back at the end and we'll talk about the results.
guys. Um, I'm sitting here looking at it and I really, uh, I like mainly how it, it turned out. Uh, we've got good clean lines, uh, which indicates that my uh, paint was definitely thick enough. Uh, if it was not thick enough, you would see some squiggles. The lines would have squiggly <laughs> uh, forms to them instead of straight. Um, these are, are good and straight, so the thickness was fine. Uh, the only thing that I don't like uh, mainly is that I'm getting this black popping up around the edges and um, that is uh, often what I don't like about uh, these pores unless you waste a whole lot of paint um, to have so much excess paint uh, to where you won't get this coming up. You, that's basically, uh, that's my understanding of it. And you can put down in the um, comments uh, other ideas if there's a, a reason that you know of or you think uh, is the reason why this pops up. But I'm thinking that it's um, that the paint has thin, you know, gotten thin on the edges, letting the extender, you know, the paint that I used it, used as the flow extender pop up because uh, the other paint ran out. Um, that's the only thing that makes any sense to me anyway. I may be wrong, um, but uh, it looks like more and more of it is starting to pop up as I'm uh, talking, and I'm not really surprised because um, it's this Montmartre black that um, I have used in other paintings and I thought just using it as an extender, it wouldn't take over, but it looks like it's wanting to take over, <laughs> even using it as an extender. Uh, I hope it sure, I sure hope it doesn't want to pop up here in the middle. I definitely will be scraping it if I start seeing that. Uh, it's popped up enough that I'm not happy about it. Um, but I'm not going to scrape it either because it has enough good points to it that I think it's, it's worth keeping and, uh, somebody might like it. Uh, uh, it might not matter to them that this black pops up around it. I'm just hoping it, the black doesn't continue to pop up everywhere and, and overtake the whole thing. Um, I could say forget it and re-pour, but I think as long as I'm using this uh, black Montmartre uh, paint, it, it's going to do this. Uh, at least they're kind of neat looking cells. Uh, I'll take down the camera and give you a close up. We've got cells uh, that's popped up in the painting. Uh, I didn't really want cells, but I was afraid that was going to happen because we have a metallic included, um, the copper was required, and uh, the orange that I used is also a metallic, and I didn't have any other orange um, in stock in my inventory to use. I guess I, guess I could have made up some, um, you know, mixed up some of my own, but I thought, well, it's got copper in it anyway. It's There's a chance that it's going to get sales, and that's what's happened. Uh, though, it does look like the, the copper uh, is not maybe the culprit, though it, it looks like it here, but here it looks more like the orange. But uh, let's, let's do a close-up. And if I decide to re-pour, um, I will do another video. <laughs> um, I'm trying to keep from having such long videos. See how, I mean, there, there are some pretty cool looking cells, 
but I would rather that they weren't there at all. But I'm really, I am really digging the the lines that I got in my pour. So to me, that's enough for me to overlook the, the cells that popped up. See how all that, that part right there looks like the orange made cells. And that looks like copper that's uh, made cells. Just my thoughts, I think that um, you know, if I was picking the colors myself, I would not pick any metallics to put in a ring pour because they're going to make cells. And I prefer ring pours that don't have cells in it. I like the, the uh, graduation of colors and the clean lines. That's what I enjoy about ring pours but overall I think it's it's okay and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it I will sign off for today uh, like I said go check out the other artists and see how their work turned out and uh, show them a little love and be sure to show me a little love before you do you know give me a thumbs up Comment, suggest something, you know, um, any feedback is welcome. Share with your friends and family, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I'll see you at the next paint party. Mm -hmm.